Hey, Greg. Hey, Stephanie. Yeah, tonight the judge is now deciding if whether or not that earlier ruling you just mentioned, that temporary restraining order, will be extended. Now, a lot of the arguments today in this courtroom behind me here focused on what's inclusive and equal for all students. Inside this federal building, a judge listened to attorneys make their cases. We aren't allowed to bring our cameras inside to record what happens in the courtroom. But Bryce Timmons is an attorney representing the families suing Tennessee Governor Bill Lee. His team says everyone at schools should be wearing masks. We've always argued that this case is about children with physical disabilities who are unable to attend school because uh, they are at a high risk of death or severe illness from COVID. Um, this doesn't have anything to do with special education needs. Attorneys for the governor called the state leader for special populations to testify. She laid out the various learning plans for students in special education. She acknowledged in her testimony she had no advance notice of the governor's executive order. She also said no one asked for her input about how it could affect disabled students. Timmons says his clients fall under various education acts and plans to prevent discrimination. You know, our clients' children have special education needs, yes, but we're not here because they need remedial math. We're here because they are at a risk of injury or death if they get COVID-19 because they have, are immunocompromised or because they have genetic disorders that render them particularly susceptible. The state said schools can make accommodations so unmasked children wouldn't be near those who could be in danger. The state is asking that the school districts create segregated environments for disabled and non-disabled students. You know, I thought separate but equal was over, but apparently we're going to argue that again as it relates to students with disabilities. Several parents showed up to express their support of the governor's order. My children should be able to go to school en masse based upon our faith. And Stephanie Gregg, attorney said another plaintiff with an immunocompromised child is going to be added to that current lawsuit. A judge, again, as I mentioned, will now issue a written ruling following today's testimony. For now, that temporary restraining order saying all children in Shelby County schools must wear masks remains in effect until September 17th. We'll keep you posted. We're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3.